here, it gets worse and worse. <laughs> this is my son, Daniel, Pete, and his girlfriend, Jane. He's very shy also, kind of runs in the family. <laughs> We appreciate your family being here to enjoy this evening with you, and we also appreciate everyone taking the time to be here to celebrate with us. And what I'd like to do now is, Lori Hamilton has a few words that she would like to say. Turn the time off. Thank you. Thank you. Diane, first I want to thank you. You're the one that hired me, so wasn't you I went to work with you come in and know all these people. And I'm chosen here by the clerks to say a few words to say how much we've enjoyed working with you. We wish you a happy retirement. And we've always enjoyed hearing about all your cruises and your trips and looking at your pictures. And hope you'll come back and share that with us still. How about more. my grandchildren? Oh, your yeah, grandchildren. We like listening to them on the telephone on your answer. <laughs> Sometimes I think we deleted them before you got back and we got in trouble. But do you remember when you were the word processing supervisor? Oh, yeah. We had lots of fun in there. And when Ty Wayne and I worked night, some of the things that we did to the girls on day, we would sometimes switch their desk drawers all around. One time we tied some tennis shoes up on the ceiling. And then do you remember the episodes of Ty Wayne's chat? Yes, that was our favorite. That was our favorite. <laughs> yeah. The girls on the day decided they wanted to play a joke on Ty Wayne. So they asked Diane, and one of those girls was Karen Northrup. Oh. <laughs> and so they asked Diane if she would, when it was payday, to keep Ty Wayne's check and not and tell him it didn't come in and he wouldn't get it for a couple of weeks. So as soon as the girls left on Wednesday, Diane could hardly wait for them to leave. She told Ty, Ty Wayne and I what their plan was, and maybe we should turn this joke back on the girls. And so with Diane's guidance, Ty Wayne and I started <laughs> plotting and planning what we could do. And so we got, she got his check out, and we opened up very carefully, and we made a co Xerox copy of his check put it back, the copy in the envelope, sealed it up, Diane took charge of that, I went and got his regular check, we went home, the next day the girls were antsy all day long waiting for Ty Wayne and I to come in to work, they wanted him to ask for his check, so we come in, right away he says, Diane, I need my paycheck, oh Ty Wayne, I'm sorry, but it, yours wasn't in the batch, and they said, if I won't be here for about two weeks, I need it. I want it. I can't wait two weeks. I have bills to pay. And he was just ranting and raving, just having a fit. And the girls were loving it because they, they thought, they wow, were we really got it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so then Diane goes and he, she brings out the check and gives it to Ty Wayne and he just throws it on the desk. He was so mad. He says, I don't think this was funny at all. And he I don't want it. He picked up his check and he just ripped it in half. And do you remember the, face, the looks on the girl's face, especially Lisa? Vicki Marshall said, if you don't want it, why don't you just tear it up? And he did. <laughs> <laughs> and Lisa was over there trying to put the pieces together. And then she noticed, noticed it was a Xerox copy. And then that, Diane and Ty Wayne and I all started laughing. It was <laughs> <Diane>. <laughs> The girls, I think we're a little mad. <laughs> <laughs> and they played right into our hands. <laughs> you know, life was boring. <laughs> now, if you think you can stand it, I'm turning it over to the guys. So, sit back and relax. <laughs>